I'm Safira. So, what is the hunt? How does it work? And what do you get out of it? This video will go into what the hunt is and how to unlock it. What a hunt train is and how it works in the elemental data center. For NA and EU, how the hunt train works should generally be similar though some details may be different. The hunt was first introduced in patch 2.3, and it refers to specific monsters in the overworld that players can kill for rewards. There are regular marks, which are regular monster, and elite marks, which denote more powerful monsters that can be separated into rank B, A, S, and SS, depending on how dangerous they are. B rank marks have a blue symbol next to their names and respawn every few seconds. A rank marks have a red symbol next to their names and respawn every 4 to 6 hours. S rank marks have the same red symbol as A rank marks and a message that says you sense the presence of a powerful mark when you enter the map. S rank marks can only be spawned once specific conditions are met. SS rank was introduced in Shadowbringers and has a chance to spawn after an S rank is defeated in Shadowbringers area. After you've reached level 50 and the rank of second lieutenant in your grand company, you can unlock the hunt by talking to the NPC at your respective grand company with the quest let the hunt begin. Once that is done, you can accept mark builds at the hunt board. You can accept daily regular mark builds as well as the weekly elite mark build which will give you the information on the marks, the name, the location, the number of creatures you have to hunt, and the rewards. The mark on the elite mark build is a B ranked mark which spawns at random locations in the map, so you have to fly around to find your mark. Once you get close to yours, however, there will be a pop-up text on your screen telling you which direction your mark is. Doing a run reborn the hunt will give you guild and allied seals, which can be exchanged for various items. In Heaven's Ward, you can unlock the clan hunt at the Forgotten Knight in Foundation. Clan mark builds are divided into 1 star, 2 star, 3 stars, and elite clan hunt builds. They are unlocked at levels 53, 56, 59, and 60 respectively. Once again, the regular marks are refreshed daily and give gil, Centurial Seals, and Experience Points. The Elite Clan Mark gives you Guild and Centurial Seals which you can also exchange for items. The Veteran Clan Hunt is introduced in Stormblood and can be unlocked at Chiyokaze Hostelry in Kugane. You can accept Veteran Clan Mark builds at Kugane and Rogers Ridge. They are again separated into 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, and elite veteran clan hunt builds, and are unlocked at levels 61, 63, 66, and 70 respectively. The regular marks are refreshed daily and give gil, centurial seals, and experience points. The elite veteran clan mark gives you gear and centurial seals which you can exchange for items. In Shadowbringers, the Nasi clan hunt can be unlocked at the Temenos Rookery in the Crystarium. You can accept Nasi clan mark builds at the hunt board in the Crystarium and you more. They are separated into 1 nut, 2 nut, 3 nut, and elite Nazi clan hunt builds. The regular marks are refreshed daily and give gil, sets of nuts, and experience points. The elite Nazi clan mark gives you gil, sets of nuts, which you can exchange for items. 
The Hunt Quest of each expansion will only be available after you unlock all the Hunt Quests from the previous expansions. So make sure you unlock all of them. Allied Seals, Centurio Marks, and Sacks of Nuts can all be exchanged for items at their respective hunt boards. There are various items you can get such as ventures, housing items, unique minions, mounts, and riding maps which increase mount ground speed. You can also get upgrade items for your tome gear of the current expansion which can be difficult to obtain. There are also etherite tickets which allow you to teleport for free. Over time, guild save from teleportation can be quite a large sum. And doing all three of the daily hunt builds in Shadowbringers can net you over 6 million experience points a day. As A rank, S rank, and SS rank do not have marked builds, it is up to the spawn timer. A hunt train is when the A rank marks of the current expansion, Shadowbringers in this case, have all spawned and an organizer is calling for people to gather and hunt down all the marks together. The organizer would call out the coordinates of the first mark, then call out the start time once people have gathered. The start time would usually be called in Eorzea time or ET which you can turn on in Character Configuration, UI Settings, and under the HUD tab. No matter what you do, please do not early pull. Once the hunt starts, a train is formed. The organizer would call out the location of the next mark and the next until all the marks are killed. This event will begin again once all the marks have respawned. In Elemental Data Center, if you are looking for a party for the hunt train, you can join the PFs under the hunt tab or start one of your own. This can be different server to server and data center to data center where people might just chat looking for a party or LFP to get invited to a party. When an S rank spawns, there is usually a player who caused it to happen since specific conditions have to be met. Regardless of expansion, all S rank marks are called out so people can gather and the spawner of the mark would call out the start time. When you hunt down rare marks, you will get varying amounts of tome stones and hunt currencies according to the expansion. The hunt also has its own achievement category where you can gain various titles and some of the rarest mounts in the game. If you want to join a hunt train, you can join a hunt link shell on your server to be notified whenever a hunt train is about to begin. You can also join the Farloop Discord to get notified whenever a hunt is going on in your data center. You can find the link to the Discord in the description below. To put it simply, the daily and weekly mark builds from the hunt board are hunts that you can do alone to gain experience, guild, and hunt currencies, while rare marks are hunts that you join in with other people in the overworld which can make for a unique, if chaotic, experience, and receive rewards in tombstones and hunt currencies. I hope this video will encourage any who may feel hesitant to join the hunt. As I mentioned before, the mark builds can be rewarding in terms of experience points and currencies, while the rare marks can be a very fun experience that rewards you in tombstones, currencies, and achievements. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it from me for now. Bye!